you know, people who are starting their life as a tester, you know, today. So what yes. would you like to tell them? How would you, uh, you know, like to give them a picture of what what lies ahead of the future of testing for them? I wish I knew. It's going to be a hard life, <laughs> depending on what you want out of life. But let me tell you this, this is something that won't be hard for you. When I was starting testing, there were no books, there were no sightings, there was no instant messaging where I could go find a testing expert and talk to that testing expert. Now there's like the women's testers group, which some people like. There's Speakeasy, which mentors people to do speaking. I also mentor people to do speaking engagements. Uh, there's uh, in many interesting conferences, a few of which are useful, uh, most of which aren't. Um, but even if you go to a bad conference, the reason to go to the conference isn't to hear the bad talks. The reason to go to a conference is to meet other testers, talk to those other testers, and get yourself a collegial frame, uh, a, a group, a collegial network that will help you shine. And that is my, that's I think the main thing I wanna tell you. Know this right now. If you are all alone and you're trying to be a good tester, you will be outshone by people who have a network of friends, and colleagues, and mentors that they can draw upon to help them be their best. So find a network that works for you, a group of friends who also do testing, who all want to study testing the way you want to study testing who you can talk to and you can Skype or WhatsApp or whatever and say, I just read about this. What do you think about this? Last night, I contacted Michael Bolton and I said, I'm supposed to speak about this thing tomorrow at Gulia. And uh, my first impression is there's nothing to say about it. So uh, I wanted to know what your impression was. And then he and I had about a 15 minute conversation. And out of that, I had lots of ideas. And then he said, also, James, uh, there's this slide set, there's that slide set, there's that slide set, I have all these materials, here's a mind map. So, thanks, Michael Bolton. So, you see, I'm not just one guy. I'm a bunch of people. And that's why I can be as successful as I am. And one, one reason why I'm desperate to work off this karma from all the people who have helped me and all the advantages that I have had uh, that are some of which are unfair advantages. Like, you know, I speak English as a native uh, United States citizen, so that gives me an advantage. It's not fair, it's just an accident of birth. I, um, I had parents who uh, filled the house full of books, and I had those advantages. I was always expected to go and learn and be independent start my own business and all that kind of thing that's normal in my family so i had lots of family support i have uh, four brothers and sisters that are constantly cheering me on i've got my wife i have all these friends all these people are helpful to me so get yourself a collegial network one of the disadvantages that you young testers may have especially in india is you have family responsibilities Especially if you're female, you have a special, probably a lot more family responsibilities. This is something that's really held back a lot of women in testing because I got to work weekends and nights because my wife took care of my son. I didn't have to take care of my son. She did that for 18 years and still does it, even though he's 25 and has a wife. Um, <laughs> that's her project much more than it ever was mine. I, my, my job in the house was play games with your son. So anytime I was home, I was the game master. We would play and have fun. And then her job was everything else. So it's a lot of work she put in. This enabled me to pursue my career. And this is why when I started my company, I gave it to my wife and she owns it. She owns 70% of Satisfice Incorporated. It has um, uh, been something that we've 
grown with together, and uh, she gets all the money, and I don't know what she does with it, but I'm sure it's, she spends it on good stuff, and I get a little bit. Um, and, uh, but that's right, because she makes possible what I do, and my colleagues make possible. So don't be too hard on yourself if you don't have time every day of the week to work late and study and study on weekends the way I did because I had tremendous ambition and I wanted to be famous in, in testing. But get yourself a network of helpers also. Awesome.